Welcome back everybody, this is FF3D and let me go ahead and get this game started and <laughs> before we continue with the action, I wanted to point your direction to the bottom left of the chat. Kai says, think you were right about stay on better than Mega based on this game so far. <laughs> and I know right now if Mega's listening to this and watching this, he's probably all pissed off but Mega's a great player. <laughs> but I think that's just freaking hilarious, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but props to stay on though for holding my prediction true. But Mega Man is, uh, in my opinion, the best, uh, one of the best, if not the best, Spider hand down. Cause I want to try to get the quality to the other top Spider in the game. But you know, and I don't want to be too biased because I am on dice. But you know, so, uh, objectively, subjectively, I'm making an objective statement that <laughs> Mega and Stay on are one of the top, you know, basically the top three, top five for sure in the game. Stay on Mega, top five in the game. For us, among, and there's other dicers, you know, who are up there too, stuff, but in terms, in terms of the captains, okay? And then Cape, in my opinion, is one of the top, uh, carriers, if you can not get banned <laughs> from making stupid substitutions, okay? So, here we go, and back to the game. Necromotic, uh, Necro, trying to do whatever he can. Uh, big fan of Necro, he's a jack of all trades, and th those are the type of players you want on your team. You know, you can, like, interchange them, okay? So, but right now, he's being pinned. Being applied a lot of pressure, so I, I want to see him in jab because that's when he can do a lot, a lot of damage. Jabs or shark because sometimes he lags as well too. So when he does in shark, but his jab shots are pretty uh, impeccable and they do a lot. So, you know, four first, five first, and they're consistent. So uh, Nico doing whatever he can, staying in the ear as Blob trying to apply pressure. And right now, Stan trying to do whatever he can. Mega Captain the dice trying to do whatever he can. Everett staying out of a uh, harm's way but dropping off. You know, good job of Everett dropping off with the forward momentum. You don't ever want to drop off a shark when you're, when you're uh, you know pressing the guy with a back backward momentum because that's like they got to burn more energy trying to get back and forth if they don't that's a couple like one or two seconds that they're trying to you know gain that momentum going back forth so good job with cleaning him out and we're just seeing the spider line decimate Jamal another great spider and yeah and definitely Panama too so good job to the whole uh, dice spider line for just holding him down um yeah but the thing is I, I like uh, skates line too I know E scoop among other Zizzo so yeah uh, hopefully uh, they, they may have to come back I know somewhere in the game there is there is a pretty good uh, period of a comeback and I don't know if they go on to win it um, but it's up for you to viewers to find out for some of you first time viewers for those who kind of went AFK during game there is something in the end so <laughs> it, it, it does get pretty juicy okay so here we go right now 121 players for a regular TWLB match okay so a lot of players for just one match this is just one match there's a couple many and before I continue with some of the broadcast later on as skate is trying to break crime right now there is a $25 uh, Javelin tournament this Sunday after the last TWL match. Okay, so tell your friends, tell everybody who's not playing subspace, tell people who's playing Steam or playing those stupid games on Steam like Plants vs Zombies that you can play at a later time. Tell them to come, you know, create an account and play the $25 tournament. They must be subscribed to to, to pay out. Actually, you got to be subscribed to even like play. So we're, we're gonna cross check everybody's name in the arena because we have a bunch of staff, so it's not that hard. Um, because every, if everyone just does like five players, it takes a couple seconds. So yeah, I let everybody know, and there's gonna be consistent cash prizes from this Sunday on. So you can look forward to that, okay? And yeah, that's every Friday, every Sunday from now on after each TWL match for the regular season. And, but some of those are, are performance based on subscriptions and views per video on our channel. So wanna get those channels and subscriptions up? So let your friends know. Say, do yourself a favor. Do me, do your favor. Bring like three, four of your friends to say sub. And you know, if if you win the tournament, give them like five bucks each or something. Okay? So I don't know. Be creative with it. For one of the top players, you know what I'm talking about. And like I said, S class players. Uh, uh, next year, next year when we get everything and running because we started this halfway so we wanted to test a lot of things s class winners you know what i mean by s class is like the top of the top cream of the cream not just like the best but like the best of the best you can you can, you can easily make about 150 a month from from this game okay if you win like every event and join all the challenges and do everything okay so if, if you invest the time you're gonna get paid out so you're moving on i accidentally paused it for a split second but let me see if i can go ahead and uh, get back to the original timing so right now um, I don't know if it's uh, Nico shooting a bullet, fire another bullet, and you're seeing oh, them having flat control. So we're seeing a reversal of fortune here. As like I said, somebody cast. Oh, Everett going down. And this is what I'm talking about. Skate trying to get some momentum. Maybe it's because of the ship change. I don't know what happened, but I, you know they finally figured it out. They finally found out the right combination to pierce Dice's you know solid line, solid you know like you know they're, they're basically solid starting line right now that they're showing up for this game. So we'll see what happens, Flood doing whatever he can, and and here we go, okay? So Everett doing what he can. Let's see how well Dice can break Skate's you know, defense now. We've seen it so many times in the past where Skate's been breaking Dice's cramp. <laughs> Wait, 
<laughs> you guys, you guys gotta clap. <laughs> it seemed for a moment that just kind of like letting the door open while with allowing Dice to walk up for free. But good job for Nico realizing the situation, getting back in cram. Oh no, Vale! Dice too strong for Skate's cram. Just bulldozes through. Kind of like LC back in the day, but not so much now. But you know, for the NFL. And you're seeing Mega Man over top, stay on switching under, taking care of under, and you're at this point Nico's probably gonna die in a couple of seconds again, because you're seeing a good job, two under, two over, and both of them are dodging. All the spiders are dodging, so you gotta dodge. You know, when you when you when you detach from Nico, you can't be shooting, you gotta just stay alive and, sh and you know, pick your pick your pick your poison. Oh and a turban trying to fa <laughs> pull a fast on the Everett, Everett, good job uh, with his awareness, with the peripheral vision. You know, warps out of the way. Good job right there, because that would have been a TK. Oh! Turbin! <laughs> oh! Escapes once. Not so lucky the second time. Says, you can dodge him once, but the second time, I will get you. So like I said in JD, you dodge the first one. You don't know about the second one coming. And good bounce from there, because Turbin is a jab. And good base jabbing right there. If you can't do it once, pick, up, pick yourself up and do it again. So, Everett now trying to, like, dice seeing themselves, you know, repeatedly die now. And giving position and momentum, momentum shifting slowly over to skate. So we'll see how well skate translate translate that into the mid game, late game as we hit the 26 minute mark, just about with dice leading, you know, by nine minutes or so uh, around there. So right now, uh, just a kind of little update for you guys on the whole uh, broadcast revolution. Kind of we're seeing some uh, mid mid flag battle or mid base battle is we do have some staff right now. We got a lot of staff, a couple uh, great key guys. Everyone on staff is obviously a great guy. But this is just broadcast staff, very separate, so kind of get these, get things going and helping all uh, you know things going like the podcast. So I don't know if you guys know about the 50k, the boss down right now because we're you know obviously updating everything. But but once it once it uh, goes back online, you want to check out the 50,000. 50, I'm not sure sure if it's 50,000 anymore. Maybe that was the first round. It could be a lot less. Or to subscribe and maybe post a name, you know, you know, view, kind of use FF3D as a median to get uh, updated with the best events and channels and uh, news about everything. Okay, so stay tuned right now. We're seeing every walk up top. And I'm not going to even co commentate that they're going to break the cram because it's expected now that both teams can't defend their own cram. Okay, so it's just a matter of fact which team's going to, you know, take the flag and still survive. You know, in the flag while both teams are both terriers are still there. So right now, good job. See, Skate's making a good adjustment, putting two under, but that still does not work. So they may need to have a, a third backup terrier. Nico warping, and now oh, Stan trying to be aggressive, doing a one-man show, but almost gets lucky right there, but not no cigar that time. Panama getting picked off there, Pasca, and doing what he can, trying to uh, secure the ear. So shoots a different direction. Oh, Turbin trying to do the same thing, but I think ever knows this time. Good rep from there by Maddie and Drop will respawning so another free breast for him Flood doing the same thing and trying to box him in the left ear this time Scoop getting a good job trying to flank him but needs to stay alive there needs to use that wall right there where Jamal's at and try to stay alive right there okay so stay on oh so I'm seeing oh switching off with ease and at that point it was just a matter of who can dodge last one uh, but both couldn't because they're so next they're like right next door I mean if you're right next door to each other so you want to get make sure you get the kill so Dwapple trying to do what he can uh, from the right side, die smart, fast. Mega being aggressive along with Jamal. Oh, Maddie dying, sacrificing right there. Mega Man trying to uh, uh, defend top against Ease and Scoop. Uh, so right now, Necro needs to be make sure and st tell everybody to take out Stayon because Stayon's going to be the reason why they're going to die. Okay, so if they can't go left, they can't go up, you know, they're, they're going to be pressure north, east, and they don't want to be stuck in the ear again if N Necro's, Necro's already burned another rep. So with that being said, Turbin trying to press his luck, go down under. Oh, it takes out two. Good job, Necro. Sizzle following. Sees an open opportunity. Should pick up Panama. Oh, I'm taking out Mega Man to swing a momentum right here. Swing a momentum. Maddie. Oh, one. Oh. And stay tuned for round three, okay? FFL.